Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to check out the work of Shuai Zhang. He's an artist based in Beijing, China. Um, he doesn't have a lot of work in his um, art station portfolio. However, I do find his style interesting, right? It does have a traditional kind of feel, an oil feel, right? And um, he doesn't like to layer his stuff, I think, or I, I'm basing this off of the way he does his edges. Now, maybe for more complicated pieces, I'm guessing he does layer it, right? It's pretty common um, and efficient, right? But in the end, his work seems very traditional looking, um, especially for his recent work. Like there's way more texture. The edges are more painted, right? Like you can see the paint being kind of dragged around the edges and it's not a very clean, sharp edge. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Let's explore his work. So this is an example of his more traditional looking kind of pieces or paintings, right? It's a bit textured. It does look like an actual oil painting. Now, I'm not sure if he bashes photos in for some elements here for like the grass or whatever. But uh, in the end, he does a good job of blending everything together. I think he does like to use the mixer brush a lot. That's kind of my guess. Um, and it does have a very textured kind of look coming off of that kind of... The dragging of the paint ends up adding a bit of texture in the end. I think he does sharpen his paintings after, just based off of the, the look of his paintings. Um, and his work is not super stylized, it's somewhat, is heavily on the realistic kind of side, right? And the theme of his work is historical, um, East Asian, I'm assuming Chinese, right? Um, and historical, definitely historical, right? And he does include a few war scenes and a few day-to-day -day scenes. Um, and you can tell by the edges. Like, look at the edge of this shadow right here. It's not super clean. It's oh, It almost looks like it was done in the traditional kind of fashion, right? And look at the way he did the shadow here. The shadow itself has a lot of hues in it. So it's not just one big black or gray kind of shadow. Like, there is life in the shadow. Right? You can even see some blues here. Um, and look at again, look at the edges. It's not super clean. It doesn't have to be super clean, right? It saves time, I think, if, if you're going for a more graphical approach. But it can still look good if, if, if you kind of go for a more soft, somewhat soft. Not exactly soft, but a not so sharp edge, right? Um, another example of his day to day scenes. I think he started with a print. I'm not sure if this is a some kind of historical print or his own. I'm guessing it's kind of an old print. And then he did a paint over of that specific scene, right? And it looks very traditional, right? And I love the way he does the, uh, the lighting here, right? The light spots coming off of the, the holes or through the holes of the trees, some um, foliage, right? Pretty cool. Now, these are more... Um, he did photo bash a few p uh, things here, right? For the concept of this character concept, right? Um, these are more. This reminds me a bit of John Park, I think, right? Just a bit, but obviously Shuai Zhang likes to drag the the. He likes to use the mixer brush a lot. That's the point. You can see him drag the paint around um, constantly. Maybe the smudge tool, but I'm guessing mostly. I think he does use the mixer brush for the most part. Um, if the edges of the paint, or if it's kind of dragged too harshly, I'm assuming it was done with a, uh, a smudge tool, because you can achieve that kind of look much better with a uh, with a smudge tool. Um, here you can actually see the way he did the edges of this. Um, like look at the edges of this character, right? The way it's painted, it kind of goes through the character, and it does have that natural look to it. Reminds me a bit of the work of. Um, um, Steve Houston, I think he he does like a lot of uh, like he likes to drag the paint around, especially in the edges of his figures. Um, so yeah, and it's usually done in oils. So some more character concepts, right? And uh, nice mouse <laughs> and some environment scenes here. Now, obviously, this was done in three D. Some kind of monster concept, right? But, uh, yeah. So I think this, this was also based off of a print 
Yep. And then he did the paint over, right? Look at how he does the edges. It has that, it, it, it's kind of blurred in a sense, but not blurred like Photoshop blurred. It's not like filtered. It's like, um, it's because the edges aren't that sharp. And that's what makes it look somewhat real. If it's too sharp of an edge, it can become too um, graphical and it can help sometimes, you know, but if you're trying to go for a more realistic look or if you want to tone down the harshness of your paintings, try to soften up some of the edges. Um, damn, we've got some buff dudes here, right? Um, he likes to drag the paint around, right? He likes to go for that natural texture. And yeah, I think he does sharpen his paintings. Sorry. <laughs> um, some tattoos here, right? Looks very natural. We've got a nice babe here, I think. Um, kind of hot. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think they're wrestling or something, doing some grappling, um, practice sessions, perhaps, right? And uh, he does use the mixer brush to kind of create this kind of uh, movement. No shit. I mean, you could save time by just using layers, but uh, it kind of takes away from that natural look. Right? Even the way he does the shadows here, painted like a boss. So maybe this guy does have a traditional background just based off of his painting approach, right? Look at the tech, look at the folds in this. Oh, reminds me a bit of the work of. Uh, Ju was his name is Juho something. Um, let me just check his name. Um, he does like a lot of creature concepts. Fuck me, <laughs> Juho Laitia something. Uh, oh yeah, Juho Laiti Laitila. Right, it looks kind of sc sculpted. And I can see that a lot in Juho's work as well. Um, anyway, let's proceed. So I've got a, um, a working scene. Maybe they're taking a break or something. Um, uh, oh, it's based off of another photo or another print. Right. Oh, here we have an example of this babe reading some kind of a thing or displaying some kind of thing. But look at his approach. He does the negative positive positive thing where he uh, paints in the negative areas, right? The background, the foreground, and then he leaves the the character kind of in white, right? And then that's where he'll start adding some color, right? And look at his brush strokes, very very painterly brush strokes. You can even still see a lot of it in the end of his painting. He obviously does refine things a bit more with the actual kind of character, but in the background. He just leaves it as is, right? And look at the way again he does the edges. Um, it doesn't have to be layered. I think he does his more direct, I guess, when he paints. Um, anyway, another babe, kind of cute. Same approach, negative positive, right? And then he'll paint the the major shapes of the fabric. Some refinement in the face, and then more, just more, it's more rendering, I guess. We're blending the edges, or just establishing the corners a bit more, right? And fixing up those edges. Um, but look at the way he does the background. A lot of it still remains, right? He does spend more time in the bottom part with the folds, right? Um, but that's pretty much it. Very, very natural looking. Now this one is more, it looks like a wallpaper, or some kind of a... Um, screensaver, right? It's for... It's a personal 2D concept art piece. Right? Looks somewhat game-like, you know what I mean? Just based off of the way the face was rendered. Um, I think he did use 3D perhaps, I'm guessing. Maybe. Maybe not. Another personal concept. Um, a hunter guy, right? I love the way he illustrated the, the cloudiness or the kind of cloudy <laughs> sky, right? I think it's kind of raining or it just kind of rained. Um, it looks very artistic, right? And emotional. Um, hmm. Same thing for this. It looks very... Maybe he did do some 3D. Um, 
Maybe not. Hard to say. I think it was just painted. Maybe with a bit of photo bashing. Here, you can see it a bit here, right? The the grass textures. Um, but uh, it looks it looks kind of epic, right? Damn. Now for these pieces, it it doesn't look as painted. He did spend more. Now this one is more of a sketch, and he did use simpler brushes. You can tell. Um, with a bit of texture, texture, and some of them, right? I think I just used some kind of round brush for this one, or a square brush, right? Maybe it's more of a quick concept study. Um, it's a maid. Now this one is a... There's some kind of... They're, they're in a bathhouse. Um, they're obviously naked. Um, but it's, it's, it's just suggested, but it kind of, you know, it makes you wonder. <laughs> And this guy's kind of blindfolded. Maybe this is some kind of guard or something. Um, and you can tell it by the with the other guards as well. They're kind of facing away, so they're obviously you know very respectful of um, the ladies' um, activities, right? And look at how playful they are here, and playful they are here. Look at how serious the dudes are here, and obviously this dude is serious here. There's a bit of storytelling involved here, right? And the way he painted the uh, the environment, the, the interiors of this um, bathhouse is... I can see a lot of variety. Like, like, look at the amount of hues involved in the roofing here, right? I think he bashed in this part of the column, I'm guessing, just because of this texture. Um, that's my guess. Um, but most of it was done with sim very simple brushes, I would say. With some bashed in textures, but that's just my guess. Um, uh, it's, it does get finer here, in where it kind of meets light. Pretty cool. And look at how it's not even super sharp, right? The, the women aren't even that sharp, right? The only thing that's kind of detailed is this guy, right? So maybe this guy is obviously the main focus here. Um, I think. Just based off of the amount of detail. I think he did bash in some um, photos for the armor. And then did some solid paint overs right um and i like seeing the brush strokes like this where you can see the stroke by stroke kind of approach kind of like craig mullins um john wallen liberto as well um so this is the last piece we're going to review in his portfolio he doesn't have a, a lot of pieces but they're kind of interesting to look at and uh they're pretty high quality i would say where they're more they're, they're bordering on marketing art i i think Although for his more traditional looking pieces where there, there's a bit more textured, I'm not so sure about that because I think you do need to be a bit more clean when doing marketing art, I think. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, awesome scene here. I think he did use a smudge tool for this part right here. And it's not even that finished. You can still see a bit of like some shapes are kind of left as is. Um, it's a great mood piece, I would say. Um, bashed in some photos, um, but obviously the paint over kind of ties everything together, right? So that's it for this art review of um, Shuai Zhang. Um, you can follow him on ArtStation, and that's pretty much the only link I've found of his work. So yeah, follow him on ArtStation, and uh, keep drawing, keep painting, and stay free.